So welcome everybody to this video series where we're going to cover new features and capabilities what we have available in Microsoft 365. And with me today is Sarah Cummins. Um, Sarah, can you do a quick intro as who you are and what do you do for a living? Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Sarah Cummings. I am one of the PMs in the SharePoint Pages spaces. So this means that I'm working on authoring improvements to that canvas. So every time you go and you create a page and you edit something, there's probably something that I've worked on with the rest of the team. Yeah, it's, and, and those spaces are getting created so much on every single day. So and, and we get so much of great feedback around the Pages experience. It's gone so far from what it was when whenever I started at least with SharePoint. So yeah, that's all a while back <laughs> so <laughs> yeah no i've only been here for two years so um i've seen a shorter period of time but we've still changed a lot in that time period yeah. a lot of lot of cool stuff now on this video we wanted to talk about uh the section templates can you quickly describe what they are and then let's do a demo after that yeah of course so uh recently we've added section templates to the canvas so what we did is we made it so that when you go to add a new section, we're now offering templates for things that people normally use. Um, so we looked at our data and we saw that overwhelmingly folks are using combinations of image and texts for their section. So instead of having to add your image, add your text, add your layout, we took some of the things that people are using most frequently and we just packaged them together for you. Um, so instead of going through all those steps yourself, you can drop something on the canvas and you know that it's going to look great. So wait, me as a user now, I'm thinking, so in past I was creating like a section and then it needed to select how many columns and all of that, but you, and exactly. then I added the web part in yep. and the settings and now all of those web parts are available in the templates. Is that the thinking or the, the yeah. setup or structure? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we started with images. So images are the only ones that are built into the templates right now. Um, yep. But moving forward, we would be looking to bring in other commonly used combinations that we see. Um, and bring those into our section templates as well. But we had a starting point, started with image and text, and we wanted to see what happened. And overwhelmingly, it's been a huge success. We've seen a ton of usage um, and gotten a great lot of great feedback. So I'm excited to share it all with you. Cool, that sounds really, really good. So let's, let's jump on your screen and let's have a look okay. on this in practice. Yeah. Um, so this is a sample page we have going. And to see section templates, I'm going to go here and go into edit mode. So as you can see, this page is made up of these different sections. Um, and if we wanted to add a new one, we click this plus button here. Um, now, first you have your old options, which are all of your column layouts. Um, but now we have this templates tab. So once you click on this, you get a number of options um, of what you can add to the page. So I'm gonna go with this first one, three column image and text, it's very popular. And so once I click that, it's inserted onto my canvas automatically. So now instead of having to add three columns, go to my web parts menu and add stuff individually, it's here and it's ready for me. Um, these images also, when you start, have locked aspect ratios. So you know that they're all going to go look good from the very start, but as a user, as soon as you override it, it snaps to your settings. I can also go in here and add my own web parts. I can add anything I want. After the template is on the canvas, it is yours, but this gives you a really nice starting point. Um, so I can even do things like change my layouts, um, but I didn't have to go through all of the work of doing this all initially. Um, so that's section templates. Um, it's, it's really exciting. We've been seeing a lot of usage and it's our goal to make the author's life a lot easier. This is really, really cool. This is, I wasn't aware of this, so to be <laughs> quite frank and honest, so this is cool. This is gonna save a lot of the time when I'm writing my reports uh, as the news articles in the SharePoint. This is yeah, awesome stuff. Absolutely. Excellent, thanks, Sarah. That was really, really cool, as, as mentioned, and I will certainly use those in my my uh, uh, reports as well. But now, now we offered there a set of those con uh, templates. So can we can we configure our own templates? So if a companies have their own templates, which they would want to have there, is that a possibility already? It's not a possibility right now, but it is something we are definitely looking at in our V2 next steps for this. Um, we've gotten the request very frequently that people want to make their own templates at the section level, which is very interesting because it's there's a different interaction model to making a template at a section level than there is at a page one. But yep. you know, if you make a beautiful section, you should be able to save it and use it later. Um, so that's feedback that we've got and we are thinking about, and there are exciting things to come. 
And that's actually a good point. You can save a page as a template, so you can actually save an existing page, and that's being widely used as well. But in this case, it would be just the sections of the pages, so it's a bit of a different uh, use scenario. Now, what else is on the roadmap? Anything what you can kind of uh, explain maybe and, and tease sure. what's coming? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can hint at some stuff. Um, cool. So we're definitely looking to put in more work at the section level and making it so that when you put content on the canvas, we're predisposing it to look as beautiful as possible. Um, so this was the first investment into this space. Honestly, section templates was a little bit of an experiment. We wanted to see how they were used. It's the first interaction we've had at a section level. And based on that, we were going to, you know, make decisions on how to further invest into that. And considering it's been a massive success, we're looking to move forward with other stuff. Now, the entry point we have for it right now in the plus menu um, probably won't be the permanent one. You can expect in the future to see a broader pane and a more rich experience when you are going to be interacting with uh, templates at the section level. Um, but there's going to be a lot more to come to make your sections look beautiful and not just your pages. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's actually a good point. Just to those who are watching the video and kind of are, why aren't they showing this and this and these kind of options and section templates things? We always need to think through how do we expose that in the UX and we exactly. test out different things and experiences. And then it's an evolving thing, which which we understand that it's a change management challenge, challenge potentially, because things are a bit changing, but they're intended to be easier as we evolve the experiences. Yeah, absolutely. Every uh, every step we make is incremental. You know, as yeah. a product team, we're building towards the best experience, but um, we need to try things along the way and see what sticks. Um, and this is something that's definitely stuck. So yeah. you can look forward to more investments in this space. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, Sarah, for this one. Really, really cool stuff, and good to get this one uh, recorded for sure. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.